Are you embedding websites in your Power BI dashboards? Well, there is a change that's about to be made to the Power BI service that may directly impact your ability to do that, and it's for a good reason. Welcome to Career SBI. My name is Chris Wagner, and today we're going to be going into the latest announcement that Microsoft has around a potential security vulnerability that exists in embedding websites inside your Power BI dashboards. Okay. Before we get into that, if you like this content, and want to be kept up to date on the latest updates and releases, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video and like potentially share this to the other people in your company so that you're aware of these changes. Okay. Now. Uh, this is the announcement that was just uh, that was just released. Um, the ability to embed websites inside of a, a, a dashboard tile is something that was released, a, a, you know, a couple different years ago. It was on by default, so people could just go ahead and like uh, like post uh, you know websites or SharePoint sites or whatever it is inside of a Power BI dashboard. The problem is they've now identified that's possible to deliver a malicious payload through that website being embedded inside your Power BI app. So Microsoft is going to be disabling this uh, capability by default inside of you know ongoing uh, uh, clients, and so that's going to be impacting potentially uh, future companies or future places. You know, as as this change goes out. Okay, now if you're an admin and you want to make this change, all you do is you log into Power BI. You go to your admin settings and you go to the admin portal, which is right here. You can kind of see it right there. All right. And on your filter by keyboard, just type in web. And you're going to see the dashboard settings, the web contents on dashboard tiles. I've already disabled this. This is the recommendation, right? So in the web, we do a zero trust policy, right? So don't trust anything unless you need it. Uh, so turn this to disabled so that, you know, you're not potentially exposing yourself to vulnerabilities. But what you want to do is if you're going to enable this, go in and don't do it for your entire organization. Uh, assign a specific security group to it. And the idea being that anyone who goes into the security group uh, is made aware of the potential issue and that um, they need to be very selective on what websites get embedded inside of those uh, dashboards, right? So like, hey, if you want to do, uh, you know, your SharePoint sites, thumbs up. You want to do a YouTube site, like Chris, this YouTube site right here. Hey, thumbs up. Go ahead and do that. Uh, big sites are going to deliver malicious payloads, but you don't know what sites are going to do that. So, um, heck, I'll even say my own personal website, like, I could get attacked, that could get hacked. You know, I have a service that monitors that, but I don't, you know, I, that's a personal thing that I run. It's possible that I could get, get uh, you know, attacked and that could become a, a point of vector of issue. So maybe you don't want to embed my, even my website, right? So if it's not a big player out there, don't embed it, all right? Make sure people understand how important that is so that you, you stay safe, all right? And then add that in and enable it for that, uh, that security group. But if you're not going to have that enabled, go ahead and just leave it disabled for your entire company or disable it right now for your entire company, all right? Now, I hope you found this useful. I hope that you know that this is something you could go out and uh, make this change on right away. Or if you're not able to publish to the web and you're like, hey, I really wanna like embed a SharePoint site inside my dashboard or something like that, you can have that conversation with your admin and explain that you understand the potential security vulnerabilities, and you're gonna, you know, you're gonna follow best practices to avoid that, and you know, it, you know, work out, work with them to make sure that that's something that is possible for you to do, so you can get added into this. Thank you guys so much. You have a great day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.